Hi, this is Carla Gadapedian, and I just wanted to say a few words on behalf of my friend Nadeg Haratunyan, who was recently detained without charge, imprisoned without bail for 60 days in Armenia, and then after a big public outcry, he was released. I want to talk a little bit about him because I know him as my friend, and and he's really somebody who's really unique and special in so many ways. And I think people might be wondering why has there been this public outcry about Nadeg? I know him as somebody who has done something very special in Armenia. He created the Nadegatsi Art Institute in Yerevan, which is a special place for ordinary people to go and visit, see concerts, go to art exhibitions, photo exhibitions. Um, it's a place that's very special because it's open to everybody without charge. He also opened the Shushi Art Center, a sister art center, and that's special because children can go and have art classes, participate in theater. Uh, I visited there in 2010 and it was really amazing how this place was breathing new life into Shushi. There's really nothing like it. So, of course, I was astounded when Nadeg was detained without charge and then imprisoned without bail. Um, he is, for me, the life and soul of the new Armenia. He brings so much passion, hard work, and love to whatever he does. And for him to be imprisoned was a shock. But for people who didn't really know Nadeg, maybe they knew about him, but didn't really know him, for them to come out and to uh, voice their disapproval and their concern about him, you have to ask, what was that about? And I think underlying it is something more fundamental. I think the idea for people who didn't really know Nadeg was if something like that could happen to a person like Nadeg, somebody who is very well known, who's put so much effort and soul into his, uh, his projects, if something like that could happen to Nadeg, it could happen to anyone, any citizen, any businessman or woman, anyone.